Ryan T, new show. We were just talking about marriage proposal. You're, of course, married to <laughs> Richard yes. Marks, who yes. I love, cool, cool guy. How did he propose to you? Um, well, it wasn't public, <laughs> thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would have killed him. Really? But, yeah. yeah okay. Because, but also, you know, I, I think it's better when guys know that it's in the bag. You know, yes. oh, when yeah. you know she's gonna say yes, of course you're gonna go big because you know, right. you know. So then you feel like the stud. <laughs> With him, he was he really took a risk because he. I was totally against marriage. You know, I was. 48. I was like, why do people get married? Like, the last thing I need is another contract. I was totally jaded and like, <laughs> right, right. That's, uh, that's not for me. And he he saw a little window at some point and he went for it. Ooh, brave. Did you yeah. know the day that he proposed that it was coming? Did you no. feel it? I missed the whole thing too. No. So my husband started acting really sweet, see, and I was like, <laughs> like, hang on. No, this came out of the blue. It came out of nowhere and I was shocked. I almost couldn't breathe. Yeah, wow. I, I literally couldn't breathe. He was like, breathe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome to see you guys yeah. all these years together later. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. Very and I did, I did say to him, I was like, you know what? I I never wanted to be married, but I want to be married to you. Oh, I oh, love that. That's romantic. I know. You got, I know. On Instagram, y'all got to see <laughs> all your pictures. There's a lot of heat and spice. Wow, look at the way that worked out. That's I know. cool. I remember it vividly, too, because you were one of the, I think you were the first Latina. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. In that space, for uh -huh. sure. Yeah. Exciting. Just like you said, in English and Spanish, That's too. Right. Represent. Very cool. That's and right. then this new show on Saturday morning. Tell us about this because I love anything reconnecting you to your past and your history and your roots. Yeah. I love these kind of shows. Me, it, too. Yeah. It's really great because it's, you know, there's the educational aspect for all of us. You know, we all start thinking of our past and our ancestors. And there's something really great about connecting people to their ancestors, to their family. Mm -hmm. um, we use genealogy, we use DNA and ancestry to find people's past, to find their family and their ancestors. Um, and there's something really great about about looking back to really find out who you are, where you are, and to and a lot of times it does change the way you look at yourself, and it does change the way you move forward. Yeah, because it may it helps you make a lot of sense. Of, of where you come from. It, it helps make a lot of sense out of who you are and why you are the way that you are, why your family is the way that they are. Have you done the search on your own family? We're in the process right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. What if we We're found so far, in. though? Because you have an interesting family where everybody came It's from. a little bit more difficult when you're going outside of the U.S. So I, I was born in Cuba, and my family is from Cuba and Spain. So it does get a little bit more complicated. Hmm. The, the U.S. Census helps a lot. So once you go outside, it gets a little bit more complicated, but we're going to do it. Wow. So when someone else is born outside? Yeah. Because uh, theoretically, everyone, like their ancestors sure. are from outside of the U.S. Sure, but once they come in... Got it. You've got, you've got, that's where you Somewhere have the census, from, yes. and you've got the logs of once they enter the U.S., and yeah. then that's when it's easier to backtrack, got even it. outside of the country. Got it, yeah. got it. Uh, what's your day-to-day -day now? So you got this show. Where are you guys living? What's the deal? We're mostly in Malibu, although Richard is still touring a lot. We just got back from two weeks all over South America, so okay. we're I was having following a lot of fun. you. I'm like, y'all are everywhere. We're this everywhere. I'm having a lot of fun kind of being, you know, the, the tour wife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy being on the road. Road. That's cool. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. But this is home now. This LA. is home. Yeah. Well, this in Miami. Yeah, because I know Miami. We have always a place there. in Miami. My family's there. We're gonna be um, going for Thanksgiving and spending time. Richard's boys will come and his mom as well. So we'll have a big family reunion. And you're so close with her. That's a big deal. Yeah. Really close with the mother-in-law is yeah. always great. We're She's just so awesome. happy for you, yeah. Daisy. Everything's Aww, falling into thank place. Thank you. I feel it. I feel the love, you yeah. guys. <laughs> Well, congratulations on the new show and everything. Thank Please uh, be sure to check out Daisy's new show, A New Leaf, Saturday mornings on NBC. I love the title.